Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Curry here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a 5M chain. Um, and yeah, so if you don't have Photoshop, take your ass to Photopea. Photopea, whatever, is free. It's just like Photoshop. I own Photoshop. I just really don't like it for some reason. Sometimes it kind of fucks up my shit. But I find Photopea, Photopea really easy. So if you don't have Photoshop, don't want to pay for it, just uh, shit. Just go to photopea.com and Photoshop, because Photoshop, you know, I don't fucking know. But anyways, right to the video. I'm not trying to waste no time. Y'all need to learn how to make these 5M chains, bro, because I'm telling you, it's like the funnest shit to ever do. I promise to God. But anyways, let's get started. Uh, What you're going to need is a font. If you don't have a font, go to thefont.com. I'm going to show you guys the link, thefont.com. Uh, nice Wi-Fi. Round of applause for my Wi-Fi. Anyways, so look, you just look all through here. You know, they have a bunch of things, like you know. But today I'm gonna be using Judas Caps uh, WD, and what you're gonna want to do is make a text file, and then Korea. That's just, just gonna be my uh, my thing right there. Korea. All right. Anyways, once you got the first Korea done. Uh, or not the first Korea, but the first text. Delete that. Go to the magnifying or the, the, the thing right here. PNG. Name it. And then uh, name. Text one. Press, press on this on a blank side twice. Press on stroke. Make sure you're on the stroke. Of, it says stroke on top. Change it to 15. Once that's changed to 15, do the export again, PNG, but name it text two this time. So after you got the two texts, you want to do it one more time, but change the stroke to 30 this time. Go up here, PNG, and name it text three. Now you're done with the photopia process, the text. That's all you're going to need for right now. So if you want to be more organized, you go to your files. Go to your downloads, whatever you just downloaded. So text one, text two, text three. Make sure you copy those. Just control left click on all of them. Cut. And I put this text folder on all the text I'm gonna use for my chains. I put it in my documents folder. So I just go text and then I and then I paste it. So now so now it's pasted. So once you're done with that, you wanna go to Oh my god, I already had these open. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm sorry about that. All right, you're going to need Inkscape, by the way. Inkscape is free. All the softwares I'm using are free, by the way. So, yeah. So, once you got that, you're going to want to open Inkscape. Press open. And go to where you just had your text file. So, for me, it's in my documents and text. And I'm going to press on my text one. Once I'm in here, I'm going to press on anything that's, like, filled in black. I'm going to press path on top, trace bitmap, and apply. Once you press apply, you're going to want to go to file, export. And down here where it says PNG, you want to change it to an SVG and export. So now, after you're done with that, you're going to want to do it for all of the text ones that you just did. So documents, text. So now you're going to want to do it for two and three. All right, so once you're done with that, you're going to close all of this. So close without saving, close without saving, close without saving. Uh, minimize that. So once you're done with that, you're pretty much done with the text process. Open up Blender. You're going to be greeted with this if you just first download it. And right here, you're going to want to copy all this. Press your delete key, not backspace. Okay, once you're in here... Make sure you go to edit on top, press it, go to preference, go to input and emulate numpad and turn that on. 
All right, so now you're done. You can press one, you can press seven to look from the top, one to look from the first, and you know, so on and so. What you're gonna wanna do is, in my Discord, I have provided a free chain model. Link will be in the, not in the description, but link will be in a comment, a pinned comment. So yeah, just pick up the free chain model in there and you're good. So that's what I'm about to do. So import OBJ. I have plenty of chain models. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. So this is a chain model that's gonna be free to you, all of you guys right here. This one, it's actually really good. This is what I first started out with, I can't lie. So once you got that done, you go to file, import SVG, and wherever you just did your text files that I just sh showed you guys in Inkscape, you're gonna wanna paste them all right there. So import SVG, text, import SVG, text. So now that those are all, um, so now that those are all, in you're gonna press you're gonna want to press on the first one and then press on this on the left side on the green one is just to move it up so that's what you're gonna want to do the second one move it up and if they're too close just like kind of move them up all right so now press three okay don't press three but like kind of look at it from the side and if you want to kind of like free free look like this you just press down on your mouse your scroll wheel, my bad. All right, anyways. So for the first one, you're gonna wanna press it. Go to the world grab, the world gravity thing, bro, what? The world, the material, my bad. Delete all the materials for all, this, all, of, all of these, delete them. Just delete them all. Once they're all deleted, you're gonna wanna go to modifiers, add modifiers, search, and search for Oh my god, I can't search. Search for solidify. And it's gonna just make it stand out more. And do that for all of them. Solidify. Solidify. Alright, once these all have solidified, what you're gonna do is press offset 0 0.0. Negative 0 0.5. This one, just leave it at that. All right, so now what you're going to do is press this one, the second one. Kind of just like make it look neat. And since, you know, you just basically all you did was just move them up. They're already basically going to be well aligned. All you have to do is just drag them down. You can always make some changes if you want to. Um, Doesn't look like I'm going to have to. Okay. So sometimes, depending on the font you're using and like how thick you make the chain, you'll run into this problem right here that I have, like right here. It's an easy fix, but I'm not going to fix it right now because I am going to make the chain a little thicker. Um, so you tap on the last one on the bottom and you go to thickness and you just want to make it like really thick. I think 0.4 is actually pretty good and decent. And then these, these are fine just like how they are. Unless you really want the first one to be thicker. You know, that's also possible. And you could like, if it's too thick for you, just make it like that. Um, I usually don't do this, but I actually, it actually doesn't even look too bad. So I think I'm going to keep it actually. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. So it's actually the right amount of thickness right now. Like I said about the problem earlier, you're going to want to see which layer it's on. So as you could tell, it's on a third layer. Press on the third layer. Go to modeling. And it's going to take you like way back. So you're going to want to. You're going to want to have to zoom in again. All right. So it's going to be this one. You tap on it, press delete and dissolve. And just like that, that problem is now solved. Now you don't have any like random things just jumping out and stuff like that. I do have some right here, so I might have to just fix that. Yeah, I actually have a couple. Wow. All right. So I think this is the first one modeling. All right, bro. I have to zoom out because this is actually acting so slow. It's this one. 
this off. This one. This off. Is it not that one? Oh, uh, okay. So look, sometimes, sometimes they're gonna be like, like, like sometimes you really can't do nothing about it. Um, you won't really notice in game. This kind of like just like a little blender type of issue. Like, see right here, you can't really notice it, and you won't really notice it in game. But uh, yeah, that actually looks really good. And yeah, all right. So once you got that done. You want to tap on the first one, press one, by the way, and zoom out, go to this object. You see rotation, which says zero, zero, zero on the top one. Just type in 70 second one, do the same thing. 70 third one, do the same thing. 70 and then sometimes it kind of like messes up the, the angle you had a mess. So you might have to fix it. That might not be the case here. It actually looks great. So what you're gonna want to do is highlight it all. You're already at one. So just get aligned with the chain here. Remember. All right. I think that's not good at all. That's not even on the buckle. All right, this is this one. We have to be a little higher. This have to be more to the right. Press one, move it. Make sure it looks centered. Right now, it's actually so big. So in order, if it looks too big, which this one right here is actually way too big, you highlight it all. Hit S, just tone it down a little bit. You know. Sometimes you might just have to just like kind of ignore that. Like, yeah, see, that looks good. That's perfect right there. All right. So once y'all got that done, um, you need to add textures to this. So in order to add textures to this, I will leave uh the textures you need in my discord also in the description so yeah so um uh, once you get those you want to open in place or not open in place uh go to open it's in my desktop it's uh textures this one file you're gonna get this one and then you're also gonna get this one make sure this was the smallest one so just do that for instance, I want my chain to be purple. So I will double tap on this one right here. And I will go to color overlay, change it from normal, not to linear light to color and change it to the color you want. I want purple. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And just name this whatever texture, whatever you want to name it. So create texture, create texture. All right, so once you're done with that, you have your create texture. Also, you're going to want to move it, by the way. Uh, you always want to do this type of stuff, so it's, like, easier to find. And it's, like, right now, I don't have that many uh, stuff in. But once I get more, it's actually going to be really... So before you add the texture, make sure you convert it to a mesh. So highlight it all. Convert to mesh. And then boom. You shouldn't see any more solidify logos or nothing like that. Once it's converted to mesh, you want to single-handedly add him add the texture to every single one of them one by one. So press the first one. Go materials, base color, image texture, open. Go to where you added the texture. So create texture. And just do that for the for all the third one. All all three of them too. So desktop textures create textures and just do that for the last one base image texture open 
textures create texture for the chain too you don't have to make it a mesh but just go to the material delete it add a new base color image texture open desktop textures create texture all right once you add everything you're not going to be able to see it's not going to be visible but easy fix on top on the top right select on the second one it's going to give you this weird look but uh easy fix so once it's that go to path one uv editing press one zoom in with your scroll wheel all right once it's here you want to go to press on materials press on select then press u and then cube uh cylinder you're gonna want to highlight all of it dim it down and and, and then put it on the diamonds on top right here this chain is gonna let's say like this chain is for glow you're gonna do the same thing select u q projection and dim it down into this one into the purple one you kind of want it to fit perfectly no mess ups then uv editing again select this is for the final one in the back or the last one and this one's going to be and then this is going to be the pure diamonds also as well so this is how the layout should look yeah that's how the layout should look and the chain i don't want the chain to have this purple stuff like on it i want the chain to be fully iced out so i'm gonna go to uv editing select and literally grab all of these make them really small and then just move them onto the white and voila you have made your first 5m chain congratulations um now the next step all you're gonna want to do is highlight them all and press join yeah all right, now once you press join, are you gonna do? Are you gonna want to do when you press join? Is you're just gonna want to file, export, file, export, OBJ. Go to wherever you want to say. Let's say I wanted to go to the logos, untitled, and then just free, and then just export wave OBJ, blah 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 blah, and then yeah. But that's how you make a chain. Um, if you do really, if you want to learn how to make a chain, like how to import it, make it glow, because I will be making this chain glow from the back. The reason I told you guys to make the diamonds, the purple diamonds in the back is because this is all going to glow. And it will look really good. But um, in order to learn that, I do sell my tutorial, my classes, um, actually really cheap, uh, better prices than anybody out there that's really trying to teach you. Um, it comes with everything. I'm telling you, when it comes with everything, you trust me, bro. It comes with some, bro. Most tutorials will not tell you that you need the teeth skeleton, blah, blah. They don't want to tell you how to get it, but I will, in that tutorial, I show you how to get it. I show you from ground up. Um, I even give, uh, the free version of all the softwares that I, that I, you're going to need. Um, and yeah. So if you really want to learn and learn how to import it in game, be sure to for sure get that tutorial because it is gonna be very much needed. Um, it's actually gonna be it's actually the best tutorial out there. I can't lie to you. It's actually one of the greatest tutorials. But yeah, um, that's just gonna be it. That's gonna be wrap. I'll wrap up the video there. Um, next one is gonna be how to make chains with PNGs and stuff and make them like still iced out, make them, you know, thick. But yeah. I will teach you guys that next video, but I did hope you guys did enjoy and please like and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you guys next video when I post that PNG shit because I'm telling you, but that PNG shit is comp. But join the Discord in the in the join the Discord. I'm gonna leave it pinned in the comment section. Just join it. If you need to help, make a support ticket. Uh, I will. Bro, I answer my support tickets and so fast. It just it's not even a joke. But yeah, enough of me yapping. Hope you guys have a good day and peace.